Okay, so since Dr. Stevens has walked through this with formulas, I'm gonna walk through this with that applet. Uh, maybe you'll find that a little easier. Uh, so it says, Larry, the claim is that Larry has a quarter of his email of spam. Oh boy, I don't know about Larry, but it certainly seems to be on the uptick, isn't it? Let's see. So here we go. So his, that's his claim. So I'm not gonna recopy that right now, but that, that's his claim. So then I should do a condition check. Let's make sure I use, I'm using the right tests. So I see a categorical variable, either, either uh, 40 emails, out of the 40 emails, either PC emails spam or not spam. So it's a yes, no situation. Um, I'm assuming the probability that an email is a spam, piece of spam stays consistent throughout. Uh, I don't think one email being spam affects the next, so they're independent. And there's a fixed number of trials of 40. So yeah, this is a this passes the the test for a binomial situation. So then let's see, is the sample size and the proportion big enough to be able to use this test? This is that NP. So NP has to be bigger than or equal to five, and N times one minus P has to be bigger than or equal to five. This just makes sure that it's a normal distribution, right? So uh, they say the claim is a quarter. So 40 times the probability of it being spam is that, that that's more than five. What is that? That's actually 10. And let's see, tw one minus 25 or one minus 0.25 is 0.75. So if 40 times 0.25 is bigger than five, so isn't 40 times 0.75. So yeah, we're good to go to use uh, this, this test so let's see, the null hypothesis, um, I, I'm gonna start saying that, well, I know that null hypothesis is, is, yeah, no, Larry is, Larry is, uh, Larry is, Larry is, let's see, I'm, so I'm looking, what I do, I'm doing here is I'm doing this, I'm trying to decide whether I'm going with a right tail test or a left tail test. I see P hat is 12 out of 40. That's, that is um, a little bit more than a quarter. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say the data's looking like it might, he might be right. So I'm gonna say for the null hypothesis is that uh, Larry's not right, that only a quarter of his email, a quarter or less of his email is spam and what's happening is just random variation. So that's gonna make H1 be his actual claim because he's claiming that more than a quarter is spam. Okay, so we'll call this the claim. And then now we'll run the test to tick and the p value. Now, Dr. Stevens ran through this with, uh, with formulas. The applet, if you're struggling, the applet makes it very nice. X is 12, N is 40. Here's our claim. We're good to go with this Rossman chance applet. Let's see, I think I've got that open. And let me minimize this window a little bit so I can see everything. So it's a one proportion test. I did the check, so I know it's a one proportion test. So what's this? Oh. So N is 40, X is 12. This is coming from the sample. There's our P hat. And I'm gonna run a test of significance. And we're saying the null hypothesis is 0.25. And it's a right tail test. Calculate it. Okay, so what I'm seeing is a Z score of 0 0.73. So that's my test statistic here. So the test statistic is Z equals 0 0.73. My P value. Uh, let's see, where's my applet? I don't remember now. The p-value was 0.2326. A big p-value, 260, and not gonna matter. And tested the 1% level of significance. Well, this p-value is a lot bigger than 0.01 or 1%, so we're gonna fail to reject HO. So uh, 
Larry's claim that more than a quarter of his email is spam isn't supported by this data. Now to do this formally, um, I'm going to pull open. I'm going to pull up uh, a, a copy of the uh, flowcharts that I, I, I provided for you guys. You could use Dr. Stevens also, but I, I like the flowcharts because it's visual. Let's see. Let me come up. I should have had those open for you. So let's see. I have my claim was H1, and I failed to reject HO. So H A the claim. Fail to reject HO. So this is the flow chart we want. Uh, let me try to zoom in maybe a little bit here. This might help you see it. Uh, let's see. Here we go. So the claim did not have, H1 was the claim. So my, my claim did not contain equality. Did I reject HO? No, I didn't. So here's how we word it. There's not sufficient sample evidence to support the claim that more than a quarter of his email is spam. Okay, you could write that out in words. Um, I just do not do that. because I don't think that where the issue is. So I hopefully that's pretty easy for you. I mean, the applet's great. Run those condition checks so you know what test to use. Make sure you're using the right test. Then then, uh, then just write down, you know, make sure you know, know what test you're running and then set it up. Hope that helps.